President Trump fired Acting Attorney General Sally Yates for refusing to defend his immigration order. Her replacement, Dana Buente, says he will. Meanwhile, the American left remains in meltdown mode with lawsuits appearing all over the country. Jose Antonio Vargas is a journalist and the founder of Define America, a pro-illegal immigrant organization. He himself is also an illegal immigrant, brought over from the Philippines at the age of 12. He's a critic, to put it mildly, of Trump's immigration orders, and he joins us now from Mountain View in California. Jose, it's great to see you tonight. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. Actually, I'm in Mountain View, which is where I grew up. This is where I came uh, from the Philippines when I was 12. In, in Mount, Mountain View, yeah. Mountain View, very yeah. nice town. Uh, good for you. Yep. Good choice of town. So you came over, you said, at 12. And I, I was thinking about that. And I've talked to you many times about this kind of thing. But I thought, you know, what would happen if I showed up at, in the Philippines as a non-citizen there illegally and started saying, mm -hmm. you know, hey, Philippines, I hate your immigration policy. And by the way, I think you're racist for not liking me. And I think maybe I'll file some lawsuits or support other people filing lawsuits against you and, you know, just sort of be quiet and accept my illegal presence. How would they respond to me, do you think? Um, well, first of all, I was 12, so I'm not quite sure I would be asking those questions. Um, huh. The decision was made for me. And I think what's really interesting here, too, is, as you probably know, the relationship between the Philippines and the United States, right? Like, right. you know, the Philippines was a protectorate of the United States, like Puerto Rico. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why there's more than 4 million Filipinos in the United States. We're the second largest Asian American group in this country because there's right. a connection between the two countries. For right? sure. So I think it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a, it's an interesting relationship. And I think um, it, it is something and a very, that, and a very old And a very old one and, the, and a very noble one also, and I you would know, say. I, I, I have to say, by the way, as someone but who's you're not answering my question. A lot, no, my answer to your question is, as a 12-year-old, I'm not quite sure I would ask those questions. I, I was not, it was not on, all my, on, on my own volition to come here. I was sent uh, Of here, course it wasn't, right? but, but you're not 12 now, and you're, you're making the yes. case, in effect, that, that the U.S. doesn't have a right to say to people who are, who are here illegally, oh. you're oh, not allowed to be here. A right. Wait a second. No, no, no. Oh. It has, the country has a right to define and defend its borders. Absolutely. Any modern country has a right to do that. But at the same time, we have a right to ask harder questions of ourselves about why are people even coming here? Tucker, do you think right. I came to this country so you can beat me up and call me illegal and criminal on national television? Do you think that's uh, what I'm I want? hardly be, I'm Don't hardly you think if I could fix? Well, well, I mean, I'm just saying. When you call me illegal, You're a gentle and, you know, soul, when you call say. people criminals, no, I mean, look, uh -huh. the words matter here. Words matter uh -huh. here. Uh, and, yeah, you know, I believe that. W w I mean, look, how do you legalize people you call illegal? You don't. You call them illegal and a conversation, right? Well, it's not, um, it's not, the, so end of the, it's not the end of the conversation. And and by the way, I mean, look. You're arguing something that contradicts itself. You're saying a country has a right to have laws about who can be here yes. and who cannot. And you're simultaneously oh, arguing that people here illegally should not be referred, referred to as being here illegally or illegal. Because and I, I don't really here, understand being, what you are arguing. Wait a second. Being here illegally, being here without documentation and authorization is a civil offense and not a criminal uh, Okay, whatever, half, it's still against the law. The I mean, what's, people, what's your point? Wait a second, Tucker, Tucker, Tucker. Almost half of the people who are here illegally actually came legally and overstayed their visa, right? Okay. They didn't cross the Mexican border. And I have to say, to me, the hardest question like to ask is... You seem like Okay. No, no, no. These are, these are facts, Tucker. The problem is you right. don't actually operate in facts. You don't. I, I'm not, I mean, I'm actually all, not contesting. Is, I'm not, oh, hold on. No, but let me just say, no name calling here. I'm not contesting those as facts. I'm, I think I'm probably not right. calling you names. What did I just call you? I'm, I just said, I'm, just I'm a asking. journalist. I operate okay. in facts. You are a pundit. Got that. There's, a, there's right. a difference between the two. Yeah, I can tell. So, but here's my question to you. What does it have to do with anything? You're not answering my question, which is, if a country is has that? a right to... Hold on. If a country has a right to determine who is here and uh, under what circumstances, what are you arguing about? If you're agreeing that a country has a right to determine who has a right to be here, then what's the argument? If you're here illegally, we have a right to tell you to leave, right? What am I missing? Yes, you do. But wait a second. But why am I here? Why do people come here? Right? What are the root causes of migration? What does U.S. foreign policy and trade agreements have to do with migration patterns? How did NAFTA oh. impact not only the United States, but Mexico? Right? These are the harder questions. I get Tucker. your argument. Oh, this is the new right? argument on the left, which is we America here, has no Tucker. moral standing to say people can't come here because we've done so many bad things that we deserve well, the illegal immigration we get. I'm not going to fall into this whole, I'm not going to fall into this bad thing. I am just trying Tell to me make what you're sure saying. that we are fully, we, are, we, ha, we must be fully aware of our own history. I thought that statement from the African Union was really interesting, right? Like, wait a second, so slaves had to build America, but we can't accept refugees? 
Right. What, I mean, that's, I don't, that's you know, a valid you, you, you claim to be a journalist. Maybe you could explain, since you're in the explaining business, well, what does Tucker, that mean? I have a Pulitzer. Because, oh, actually, on. you know, I, have, I, I actually won a part of a Pulitzer, so I am actually a journalist. Well, that's, then I'm, I'm highly impressed. But well, because you. you're a journalist, you're in the business of explaining things. Tell me why, because the United States, like many countries around the world, once had slavery, a grave sin. It doesn't have mm -hmm. a right to control who comes across its borders, or it has no right to tell people you can't be here. I already I'm, agreed the with you. Wait, Unpack it I for me. Wait a second. Tucker, <laughs> thank you. I absolutely agree with you that a country has a right to define and defend its borders. At the same time. What does time, slavery have to do with this? <laughs> what are you saying? Well, why are people here? That's, that was forced migration of people who built But nobody this is contesting the right of African Americans to be. I don't know. What, what is your point? I, I don't understand. You're throwing. Well, America's I, well, I mean, bad. We had slavery. This I agree. Is why, that's this is bad, why you're confused. What does that have to do with you're illegal confused. immigration? Okay. Tucker, you're confused because you don't deal with context. You're confused because I don't think you even really realize the full history and trust of the history of this country. We well, are here I know, I know because you were there. It, but That's tell why me we're why here. it's significant. Tell me what it means. What are you saying, I guess is the point. You're throwing some stuff what, out. This is not a class. What, People what I'm expect a rational is, argument saying, from you. And what is wait it? Wait a second. What I'm saying is there are reasons why people are coming here. Yes, the country has a right to define and defend its borders. But we need to ask the harder questions of why are they even coming here, Tucker? Like, so, look, okay, so I'm asking day, the question, people, why are they coming here? But what does that mean? Does that mean well, that first if we of all, answer we the question, wait a second, the answer Tucker, is we Tucker, don't have a right to tell them not to come? What? No, we're almost at time. Just tell he, me what you're one. saying. Tucker, Do we have Tucker, a right or not? Tucker, Tucker here's, one, here's one answer. You put a sign out to the U.S.-Mexico border that says keep out, then 10 yards in, what do you say? Job wanted. This is a country addicted to cheap labor. Always has been. By the way, well, that's the connection that. between slavery and what we have now. So while you're trying to criminalize these people, what do you do to all these American employers well, well, who are addicted to cheap labor? The really what simple answer is the employers want low-wage immigration. They do. You're absolutely right about that. Absolutely, and a lot of yes. other American citizens who aren't benefiting from that or seeing their wages undercut by it aren't in favor of it. So, well, but by the way, to, like you're I mean, talking, I don't get your you're point. talking to somebody. Wait, Tucker, we Tucker. have to have it. Like, are you, listen Tucker, to yourself. You're talking to somebody, by the way, who's an undocumented entrepreneur who employs people. <laughs> I employ 14 <laughs> U.S. citizens in this country. I want to go to so Philippines and brag just... about being illegal and see how long I stay out of jail. I'm gonna, maybe you can come with me. <laughs> we'll try. It. I, wait, they were out of am time. I bragging? Am I bragging here? I'm just <laughs> you're stating definitely facts, bragging. Oh, no, I am stating facts. Facts. It's a fact bomb. Thanks, Jose.